Hi guys, it's Ben here. This is my instant reaction to Liverpool 1, Chelsea 2. I've just got back from Anfield. I'm in my hotel room here at Printworks uh, on Renshaw Street. Um, and yeah, obviously a devastating result. Now, you might be expecting a vlog. Obviously, I've been vlogging up to now, these Liverpool games. But I've just got to the point where I think the most important thing that you guys want to know is my opinion. You don't need to see me walking towards a train station. and you don't, you don't need to see me filming the aftermath of a Liverpool goal. So let's just talk about the game. Um, we're out of the Carabao Cup at the first hurdle against the Chelsea side. He weren't that impressive at Anfield tonight, it has to be said. Neither were we, though. It was clearly two weakened sides. Um, and, you know, the, the frustrating thing is we got ourselves into the position where we should have seen the game out. We got ourselves into a position where we should have killed the game off with a second and third goal. Never came. And it's a sloppy equaliser from Chelsea. Obviously, I've not seen it because I'm down the other end in the cop. But... Um, you know, that the free kick is soft that's given away, according to what I've seen from, from, on Twitter and stuff. Uh, and then again, you know, Barkley gets the header on it. He's supposedly offside or part of him's offside, um, which, you know, should see the goal ruled out. It goes to VAR. But anyway, Mignolet gets a save on it. It comes out to Emerson. He taps it in. And the winner, do you want to be critical of, of, of Naby Keita? Do you want to be critical of Alberto Moreno? I think both could probably do a bit better. I think in that situation, you've just got to bring him down, especially if you're Naby Keita and um, he's hugging, you know, he's, 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 on, he's uh, got chalk on his boots there, Hazard. He's, he's quite wide. Um, Keita's got a chance to bring him down. Moreno just, you know, <laughs> where do you start with Moreno? I mean, it, it's a great finish by Hazard. It's a goal fit to win any game. Um, but Moreno's performance uh, um, goes a lot further than just that Hazard goal. It was a dis disgraceful is, is harsh but it was a typical Moreno hasn't been in the team for a while you you, you just want to get him in there as a bit of a rotation give Robertson a rest and, and he just does things that you, you're just taught as a kid not to do like there, there was one instance in the first half when um, Victor Moses wants it to his feet from Aspilicueta he receives it Mo Moreno gets so tight to him that Moses can just Little, little flick around the corner and he's away from him. And it's just the, the absolute basics of defending that Moreno is just fundamentally unable to add to his game. Hasn't been able to for a long time. It's staggering that he's still here in 2018, having um, signed in 2014 and been dreadful ever since. You know, I mean, there was that mini resurgence last season um, when he got a run of games before Robertson was brought in. Um, but God, that, that's got to be the last time we see him in a run games in Liverpool shirt. I'd rather see Joe Gomez at left back. I'd rather see Matt Klein at left back. Um, but speaking of Matt Klein, I thought he was quite shy tonight. It just didn't look like he was quite comfortable. We, you know, Trent's got such enthusiasm and such willingness to get forward, and um, don't know. Doesn't back out of any tackles. He's, he's just like just wants to get stuck in. Um, Klein just looks like he was almost hiding a little bit. Um, that might be harsh, you know. He's not played in a long time and just probably just trying to feel his way back in. Same can be said for Lovren, who I thought wasn't quite all there. Uh, Matip, wow. I mean, to think that he was... He, we considered him to be like what we consider Van Dijk now. The answer to all of our defensive problems. The reason we were losing games in 2016-17 was supposedly when he was out. You know, we never lost with him in the team. Um, and then suddenly he was at the scene of crimes. And yeah, that, that, that back four that we saw tonight, Klein, Matip, Lovren and Moreno, that's, that's a back four that got us to the... A position in sixteen seventeen where you know we, we could have gone on to win the league. I think we were top in November at one point. I, I know Milner played most of the games at left back and it was kind of rotating with Moreno, but Mignolet was in goal as well. So I mean we've come a long way, you know, to be looking at that team out there now. That the defence at least and say, Christ, thank God that our our first team is nothing like that. Um, in the midfield, Fabinho makes his full debut and. Mixed reviews on him, I think, you know, just from the Instagram live that I did and um, comments on my Instagram and people tweeting. Some thought he was brilliant, some thought he was man of the match, some thought he was dreadful. You know, as often is the case, it was somewhere in between. I thought he was quite sluggish first half, got caught on the ball a little bit. Um, second half gets into it. Um, I thought when he dropped a bit deeper... Um, and you know, we, we, you know, when we had possession, he was he was absolutely fine. He was comfortable. His positioning was good. His passing was fine. Um, but under some under any sort of pressure, and when Chelsea were pressing a bit, um, he he struggled. And I don't know. Maybe it's communication with his teammates. I'm not sure. It's going to take him a while. But you can see why he's not starting every game. I mean, I always get comments saying Fabinho should be playing. But you know, let's give him time to bed in. Let's get him time to get used to English football because. As, as promising as he looks and as, and as easy as it is to tell that he's got so much class about him, he's not up to speed yet. It's simple as that. He's not up to speed in the Premier League. Jordan Henderson is. Like, Jordan Henderson came on today, 
wasn't his best game. His passing was off, but he, he, he know he know he know he, he knows the tempo and he knows exactly how the Premier League is. And he's he, he is a class operator. And I, I expect him to start on Saturday. I expect James Milner to start on Saturday. He was hooked after an hour. Didn't think he played well tonight. To be honest with you, I thought it was his worst display of the season. I thought it was just quite slow and looked a bit leggy, if anything, which you know um, obviously can happen when you're in your thirties. But he's he is our fittest player, so you know. I don't know, just not an off light for him. Naby Keita, I thought, played pretty well. You know, you can be critical of him for the uh, second goal, but um, I don't know. I just thought he, I thought he defensive, defensively, he carried out his duties with with, uh, with ease and going forward, he, he was a threat. A couple of nice shots. The Caballero did well to palm away. Just thought it was a nice, nice ease back in performance for him. In attack, we weren't quite firing, and we haven't been all season, to be honest. Even though we're top and win every, every win every game. Um, Shakiri was uh, another bright spot. He was a, probably a contender for man of the match for me um, on Liverpool's side. Anyway, just thought his direct running and um, he kept the ball really well. Um, didn't give it away too much. You know, he, he had a couple of shots that he blazed over or you know just kind of swiped at him, uh, and he wasn't perfect. But you know, I I I, I was in, you know impressed with him. Um, Sadio Mane had a bit of a quietish night. Um, looked dangerous when he did get a bit of space and, t- and to run into, but. Wasn't quite as nice. Sturridge misses a sitter, you know, which if he scores, it's a different game. But then he does get his goal 10 minutes later and it's, it's a lovely finish. And I'm always happy for him when he scores because the, the guy just wants love. And, he, he, you know, he got a nice song after that with just a clap, 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 Sturridge. And he was happy enough. And uh, it looked like we were going to go on to win the game. But we had the bit between our teeth at that point. We are creating more chances. Just didn't quite have the cutting edge. And that is what happens when you've got your second string out. And Eden Hazard came onto the pitch. And, yeah, Chelsea obviously took it seriously. And... You know, did did they deserve to win? I don't know. I mean, if you look at their their performance, I thought Kovacic had a good first half. He, he was the one kind of making um, runs from deep and causing us problems between the lines. Um, Barkley was, you know, I'd, I'd I'd start to be concerned if I was a Chelsea fan with the the impact that he's having. I, I didn't think he was particularly great. Um, and you know Moses and William didn't trouble us too much. Morata didn't trouble us at all. He, he, he misses a chance um, defensively. I guess they didn't look too troubled. You know, but it it was just one of those games. A really forgettable game to be honest. And um, we can all kind of talk about how much we want to be in the League Cup, how much we want to win it, and um, you know we all haven't won a trophy in so long. And there's so, you know there's a lot of frustration around that. And it is one of the easier ones to win, obviously. But you know there, there is there is a there is a silver lining, and you know you don't you don't need me to tell you what that is. Fixture congestion and and uh, focusing on on other things. But it's a shame that we're not going to get to see some of these players that aren't in the starting eleven. You know, I'm not, I'm not talking about Moreno here, but I'm talking about maybe Fabinho and um, even just seeing what Klein's got to offer and um, Dan Lovren because these guys aren't going to get many opportunities because the first eleven right now are absolutely smashing it. Um, but anyway, it's a disappointing result. It's not one I'm going to lose much sleep over, um, but yeah, it would have been nice to have a League Cup run, but for the second year on the trot, we'd go out with the first hurdle, so yeah, let's see if we can kind of turn it into a positive and um, win all of our Champions League games and league games and you know, put all this behind us, because trophies are of course the aim this season, Then there was four up for grabs and now all of a sudden, overnight, there's three, so FA Cup, I'm sure, will be uh, one that we're going to take seriously, and then the other two... You know, those are the ones we're really going to go for. But um, yeah, disappointing, as I say. Um, leave a comment with your thoughts on how the game panned out. Do you think Klopp maybe went a bit too weak with his starting lineup? Um, do you think Salah should have come on early, earlier? I mean, I was a bit surprised that he didn't wasn't introduced at least when Chelsea equalised. Um, so there's that. Should Firmino have played? You know, um, he, he obviously got a rest against PSG, so it's not like he's been playing every single game back to back. He probably could have handled tonight. Um, anyone else missing that you feel like shouldn't maybe defensively we went a bit too weak we didn't have um, any of our star defenders in there you know um, which maybe one of them maybe could have been rested against Napoli I think Mane might be rested against Napoli now that he's played here so um, yeah all, lots of talking points and of course subscribe if you're new to the channel um, as I say I'm going to be moving away from vlogs because it can get a bit repetitive I think most important this thing is to talk about what actually happened on the pitch so that's what I've done here um, if you want to see more behind the scenes stuff and what I'm up to then just follow me on Instagram if they might say over there uh, Snapchat, Twitter and Facebook too um, and yeah it's been a pleasure we're out of the league cup but 
uh, onwards and upwards. Chelsea this Saturday at Stamford Bridge. I'm going to be going, of course, so a preview will be coming for that uh, in the next couple of days. Uh, and one of these kind of videos as well straight afterwards. So that's the one that matters. It's in the league. We're looking to keep up our 100% record. Um, I believe we can do it. Um, we'll obviously see lots of changes on both sides. Um, can't wait to get to Stamford Bridge. Um, cheers for watching, guys. See you next time.